Today, what I'm going to do is plant up my little Wardian case or small greenhouse that I showed you in yesterday's video. I have decided to use one of the cuttings from my jade plant that has been left out. It's fully calloused over and several of these little plants that I had last spring that have grown pretty tall. So they're ready to be transplanted. And this is the case with its clear acrylic windows now. And based on the way this particular um, greenhouse is sort of like a cloche type pot, I got this tray at Ikea the other day and we've cut some wood blocks from untreated wood and I have those located in each of the corners because my little case has little pegs and I don't want to lose half of my planting area by burying those. So basically, basically it will be up on little blocks, but those will be buried in the soil and you won't see that. But we're going to get started on doing that right away. Now I have already put the potting mix together with some charcoal just to sweeten it a little. And then of course I put a, a lot of my poultry grit in there and the soil is all ready. Right here. Got it all mixed and ready. I took care of all that in advance because I know my videos are getting a little bit long and I need to shorten them some. But let's get started. Okay, now I've got my blocks positioned here and let me fill this up with the soil. And we've already explained, I don't do any layer of rock on the bottom, gravel. I think that's totally unnecessary. You already know I don't do that, so if you're new to the channel, um, there's a post back on my um, website that you can go read and see what my reasoning behind that is, and I'll notate that here on the top. Okay, now that looks full. Oop, I should have put a glove on. I've got a little cut on my finger. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to unpot these. It was a little gnat. I know I'm going to have trouble with gnats this season. It's just somehow they always get in no matter what. But I'll have to make a video on treating that with the mosquito bits and my peroxide and some of the other things that I use. Okay, now here's a plant right here. He's ready to go in and he is my um, ogre ears. He's grown a pretty lot since the spring. You can see I got a new little one starting there, but I think he looks pretty good. Now, let me kind of break him up. Okay. I've got the plant ready, and I'm just going to skin off a little bit of the top. These have been out on the sun porch, but I do want to have those be treated for the gnats. And I'll show you about that in a later video. But that is the ogre ears on this one. And then I also have a very similar one. It's called E.T.'s Fingers. And he's growing pretty well, too. Let me get rid of some of the dead portions. We're just bringing these in from outside. And I'm giving them a little bit of a drink before I actually put them down in. A couple of those leaves might be just a little bit distorted but they look good i don't see anything on them as far as any varmints 
but I think that looks pretty good. Now he's going to go, I'm going to put him on this opposite end right there. I think that looks good. And now before I put the others in, I'm going to go ahead with the jade plant. Now, he's been lying around for several weeks. He's calloused very well. So I'm going to go ahead and put him down right into the center. And he is a little bit distorted, and you can see how he's growing at an angle. But I really like that, and that's going to give me the opportunity to prune him because I do want to pick off some of these later, these a little bit later, but I'll do that once it's established. I'm going to help hold it up by placing these stones. They've come out of some of my other um, arrangements. But just as long as that will stand up, I think I'm good. There. I think that's going to work. How does that look? I think that's good. Okay, now let me get this little, um, I'm not sure which one this one is. I think it's, it might be my Pearl von Nuremberg, but I don't have my tag on it, so I'm not sure. And you still see the little coffee filter from when I planted him, or her, if she's Pearl. I'm just going to wet her down just a little bit. And you can see she's lost a lot of her lower leaves, so we want to try to bury her a little bit so that she won't look quite so etoliated. Now this, of course, is going to be an indoor pot because since it has that cloche over the top of it, I don't want it to be out in the sun. And then the other one, my little Haworthia. And she's had some blossoms and blooms over this past year. And look how pot bound she is. So let's hope she grows even better once she's all separated. Let me pull a little bit off. I'll try to get rid of any gnats. They're good and dry, so hopefully the gnat population has left the building, so to speak. Let me see. Anything else? That claw one needs to be removed, I think. Okay, now I'm going to wet her down just a little bit. I don't know if I should try to pull one of those off. I think for now I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so she's going to be right here. Okay. I like that pretty well. Now, I think that looks pretty good. Now, do I or do I not want to have a gravel cover? I think I'm going to put a little bit of gravel cover on this one. Let me get my gravel. This much, I may have to add to this a little bit later. one stuck into the top of it. See, this is gravel from, I think this one came from Lowe's. It's called Pearl Stone. But if I'm remembering correctly, it was about $5 a bag. Just have that kind of naturally flow into it. I think I like that. 
now. I think that looks pretty good. I'll have to pick these out of here to prune it after, or I'm sorry, to kind of groom it up after the video. But <laughs> let me see if this is going to fit. Here we go. This will just need to be right on top of those little blocks. Okay. Now, I think that looks pretty good. And as I explained in the other video, it is open here for ventilation. I left that um, particular panel out so it'll be well ventilated. And I may put some moss on the outside or just kind of fill that up with stone. I do somewhere over here have some more stone, but I'll show you the finished product once I get that placed. My pump sprayer is what I'll be using to water this. I thought I'd show you that. It's got the long nozzle that I can stick down in there and just kind of direct let's see if I got a pump yeah I can just direct the water exactly where I want it because I will have to be careful in this particular plant I don't want it to get too much water because there is no drainage it's a solid block that way I can put it upstairs on the bookcases or wherever I want it but that's what I'll be watering it for that a dollar at the garage sale it's only had pure water in it it was brand new one dollar love those garage sales I've got this basically done for now I am going to trim the jade plant but I want to get it to adjust itself to the lighting this may or might not be exactly the spot that it will be in, but it will be under these grow lights. Let me turn it slightly. Now I have put lava rock along the edge to cover the soil because we will do everything we can to keep those gnats from overtaking us this year. We all know when we bring these things in in the fall, we have a lot of trouble with the gnats so I am hoping for the best let me see if I can turn this it is pretty heavy okay there's another view on this side I think it looks pretty good I'm pretty well pleased with it. I think he's going to do fine down here on the downstairs grow lights. And we're busy trying to arrange everything, get everything all situated down here, and hope that I can fit everything back in. But gradually, we're going to get to it. But thanks for joining me. I hope you like my little Wardian case, and I will be planting the other one. And I'll have that up here on the shelves too, as soon as possible.